Okay, uh, I wanted to introduce everyone to what I call mass drawing. And a lot of people don't understand that. Uh, what does it mean? Well, uh, we were all taught as children with crayons, to draw with crayons. Now, crayons are linear. Now, we really don't see in line, yet we've all been introduced to art through line, crayons. And what I want to do is I want to eradicate that misconception because we see things in shapes, silhouettes, and we see the mass. So I call it mass drawing. And it's not about starting off with an outline. We simply use charcoal and kneaded eraser uh, to explain. And I'm going to do a little demonstration of how that works by just taking a simple subject well, okay, the mass drawing is uh, this char number two soft charcoal, kneaded eraser, which you can draw with the eraser as well. So it's what we call a build up and take away. Now, it relates to drawing, but it also kind of is a foundation for painting, and it also relates to sculpture as well. And I teach all three. So the mass approach is kind of like this, you develop the sensitivity of touch where you're, you're, not, you're starting in the middle of, a, of an object that you're looking at. And it could be a simple thing like, a, oh, let's say a tree, which is the, kind of the beginning of a landscape. Now, landscapes are complicated, there's a lot going on. But if you just concentrate on the shape of a tree, not the outline, but the whole shape of a tree, you'll see how quickly they're you can capture that. Now this is this way of working, when you get more proficient at it, you can capture figures in motion, dance, and everyone. And there's no fear of making a mistake because here's what happens. You take the eraser and you refine it. You can take away, right here, like that, take away. You could go back to building it up, like that. You can say the light's coming from the upper right, so there's a cast shadow here, you can put that in, so that gives you a little bit more reality. Uh, so that's how that works. Now, not only a, a tree, all objects. Let's take something a little more complicated, like a portrait. Now, people say, oh, portrait, I can never do that. But it's just as simple as that, if you know how. And I tried to teach through demonstration because that is an indication of how it's done when you see something being built, unfinished. You don't learn from a finished work because you cover up all the information. Now, the, the, the basic head construction is a ball and a cylinder. It starts off like that. Now, I tell people to spend more time at the stages of this basic foundation because that's the foundation you're gonna build on. So if you build on a good foundation, the outcome will be successful. So I'm doing this fast because I've done this many times in front of a lot of people and an audience and a TV and... So I wanna share that with you and if you try it, you'll find you will get results. And then that's your introduction to art for beginners. It's, you know, I always say art has been therapeutic. It's kind of like relaxing. And there's an anticipation of getting results that's very good. So when you get the, the results, that's very satisfying. Okay, we're gonna refine that shape by putting this eraser Getting that ball and cylinder just right. And spend that time on this, it's very important. Now, we're gonna work into it, and we're gonna get the eye sockets, let's say. A little shadow here, gets the, the recess areas go dark. And this, you gotta work very, this soft charcoal step, very, break very easily, so that's why you have developing that sensitivity of touch. And when you go darker, you hold it more towards the end like that. But for fanning it like we do, 
we just kind of take our time with it because it's a shadow under the nose, so we get that. You start to see it, the basic head forming now. And then the upper lip is in shadow. So we'll, we'll put just the shadow of the upper lip, and that's a shape. That's what we call it, becoming shape conscious. And we all are shape conscious. We can recognize people from a distance, even though you don't see their face, you know who they are. And then there's the lower lip, under the lower lip, there's a shadow. Now, you can start to say, there's a person's lip there. Then, the chin is another shadow, because that's a recessed area. So all I'm concentrating on is two things, the dark and the light. Of course, there's ears. Let's put a little ear shape there. Now, the, we draw with the eraser. Now, let's take the eraser and shape that point that we do and start to pick out things like that, the, the nose, the forehead. The cheekbones are highlights because that's coming forward. So we just indicate that. The nose, let's get the nose a little better. The lower lip is, the light is, hits the lower lip, so we put that in there, like that, and then the shadow, the light under the chin. So already we have something going. Now the point is to spend time with this and refine it. Refining it is going back over it again. It's, it's no fear of making a mistake because it's built up and take away. So we go back to the eraser and we take away a little bit more. If the light's coming from upper left, it means that it's brighter here than on the other side. So it's kind of physics, natural causes. Now this part of the face might be a little lighter than this side. The chin is, has, comes forward a little bit, so we indicate that. So here we are, have the, the basics of a, of a portrait.